Note that King 5 is a partner of the Washington State Debate Coalition that had scheduled two televised debates in the month of October, but Cantwell's team told me today they have declined those debate requests and are now trying to organize debates with a different group. This makes no sense. It's not credible. It's lacking in integrity. Uh, no candidate gets to set up his or her own debates. It just doesn't work that way. Republican Susan Hutchison, who is challenging Democratic Senator Maria Cantwell for her seat this November, says she will show up to the Debate Coalition's upcoming event at Pacific Lutheran University no matter what. And I will be there in Tacoma to debate, even if it's to an empty chair. And it looks like there very well could be an empty chair. Senator Cantwell's campaign has declined the debate coalition's two invites, even after organizers offered to change the date of the first debate to accommodate the unpredictable Senate schedule. It's very disappointing. We heard that they were working on organizing uh, alternate uh, debates. We're puzzled as to why, since we offered them uh, the date that they requested as early as Friday evening. Diane Douglas, executive director of the Seattle City Club, helped found the debate coalition back in 2016. That year, the group, which is comprised of dozens of media partners, hosted and televised four statewide debates, including two U.S. Senate debates between Patty Murray and Chris Vance. The coalition representing all of those partners is fully committed to its purposes, which is to provide the broadest access across the state to Washington voters to have access to free and fair nonpartisan debates. People seeking high office need to know that they are going to be debating, but it will be a fair and orderly process. The debate coalition says it's still moving forward with the two long scheduled debates with or without Senator Cantwell. In a letter today sent by the coalition to the Cantwell campaign, organizers say they hope Cantwell will reconsider and they'll have a podium waiting. It's just a terrible insult to the people of Pierce County, for starters, and the people of Washington State, because after 18 years, they deserve to hear from their own senator. A strategist from the Cantwell campaign, meanwhile, says the senator is still committed to two debates in Spokane, Spokane rather, and Snohomish in mid-October. The League of Women Voters confirms that they were contacted by the Cantwell campaign to host here in Western Washington. However, Susan Hutchinson says her campaign has not yet heard from the League, and it seems details have not yet been finalized. Also, it's important to note that an alternative debate would not have the same reach and organization organization as a debate coalition debate, which again is comprised of dozens of media partners, including King Five, Senator Cantwell would be the first and only candidate to decline participation in a coalition debate to date. Back to you.